In this introduction video, we're going to view many examples of how you can use motion guidance visual feedback for the trunk. Pelvic tilts are a great exercise to add visual feedback to because it can encourage the user to move further into their range. It allows you to show them how they're moving as opposed to trying to describe or give tactile cues prompting them to move. You can also add challenges such as standard bird dog exercises. The visual feedback is going to show their body position in real time. And you can get creative with your patient, adjusting the direction that you want to have them aim and challenging them in different ways of moving their body. This allows them to use both balance, positional awareness skills, and movement skills to try to achieve a task with an external focus. The ball and socket mounting system is easy to adjust so you can raise the laser pointer to be on a specific target and then have them move in that target or away from that target. This example looks at lumbar dissociation. So the user's attempting to rotate their thoracic spine without allowing their trunk to follow. The visual cue adds a marker for how well they're doing. You can also add visuals to simple lumbar rotation and standing. Having the user touch the flag, they can try to move far away from the target to the left and to the right. This is gonna give both the clinician and the user instant visualization of the amount of rotation they have control over. This is also a position you can practice joint positional awareness in, having them close their eyes and open once they think they've returned to the center target. Visual feedback can also be a simple cue for position during any standard exercise, such as sideline leg adventure. allows the user to focus on a certain point, keeping that still while performing an exercise, as opposed to trying to consciously think about not letting their hip fall back. They can just watch and see how they move. Here's some other examples of adding visuals to standard exercises. The feedback is also more encouraging to the user and allows them to approach it sort of as a game, as an extra challenge. One of the hallmark applications of the visual feedback system is positional awareness. This example shows our drop target and the user using their motor control and positional awareness skills to try to move around the clock. Trunk applications also include balance. It's super easy to add a visual marker to any balance exercise. This video demonstrates standing on one leg and reaching out with the therapist. The trunk position is monitored as the user is cued to try to keep it in target during the movement. You can add any type of creative progression to these exercises, such as reaching, alternative tasks, cognitive tasks. You can add alternative surfaces to further challenge your patient. As you can see, the visual feedback control is much more variable as the exercise becomes more difficult. Here are some other examples of balance exercise.
To learn more, visit us at motionguidance.com.